TP in a place to be, man. Y'all make sure to like this video. If y'all haven't already, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody who's already subscribed to my channel. We already got 86 subs. We're on our road to uh, 1,000 subs, so we just going slowly but surely, man. I appreciate everybody who's been jumping on board. If y'all, if I got any videos y'all um, y'all like, man. If any videos y'all like that I already made, man, y'all go ahead and comment them in the comment box. Today we got Soldier Boy, you know, different. He got he's in a situation where he has a fake jewelry, and now he claiming Compton, uh, something he calling Compton Paru or something like that. We know Soldier Boy from Zone One Atlanta because he had a whole argument with Charlamagne about how he from Zone One Atlanta. So we gonna go ahead and get into this. So y'all bet y'all already expecting some hypocrisy. I'm already expecting some hypocrisy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Showing the little ice they got up in there. Hopefully, I can see that. I know, I know everybody gonna be like, is it this, is it that? Y'all know what would solve this whole situation? Past having to argue, like one man argue with another man because clearly men can't just tell the difference between real diamonds and fake diamonds. We've created this, you know, thing called a diamond tester. You know, it's how places that sell diamonds would test their diamonds before they sell them or before they use them. So all this arguing and all that, that's cool and all. He can say he spent this much money on it, but he just, we just really honestly need to know if the diamonds are real. That's really the question everybody has to ask, is the diamonds real? It don't really matter, but people want to know, are the diamonds real since you want to flex them and show them to all of us? That's just the, you know, if you want to flex it and show it, we got to know what quality it is. Or, you know, because if we find out it's not good quality, we're going to say, that ain't that ain't all that. That ain't all that. That's, that's cool, but it ain't all that, as you say it is, so... He was in the middle of the mall buying jewelry. <laughs> you don't want to say it, but that's what it was. He was buying jewelry. From Zone One Atlanta. It must be something in that soldier, some soldier boy exotics that got his ass too damn high because he know he from Zone One Atlanta. Now I'm not no gang member, but I'm pretty sure how it all works is people bring that philosophy, that knowledge to different places, and then they can. Bring that you know a different place will have a set of that you know what I'm saying a specific set of that gang that they affiliated of you know what I'm saying there just as a Fort Worth there's a whole lot of gangs from L A here so I don't think he was a Fruit Town Paru in Atlanta I feel like he was that in Compton but Soldier Boy you said it yourself you got famous when you were 17 years old how you uh from 17 on up I'm guessing it's whenever you got put down. That don't make you from there, bro. That don't, that don't make you from there. Where you from? Yeah, I, yeah, it's all good. It's all right. Where you crazy? You out here in Vegas? I'm from East Side.
do have another kiosk for that. You have another kiosk, but Celtic mm -hmm. was at this kiosk, wasn't he? Yes. And this is where he bought the jewelry, right? He bought it in this one and also the goldsmith over there. Hey, so he bought me both of them, so he bought some real jewelry and some fake jewelry. Mm -hmm. You bought real jewelry and fake jewelry? Yes. Okay, as we can see for the record, then you kept it. You kept it. You bought some fake jewelry. Here's some real jewelry. As y'all can see. It's your favorite loaf, especially after I spoke. So. So, and I could have sworn somebody, um, they've been on Soulja Boy head, you know what I'm saying? I guess it was a house years ago, they were trying to prove that he, he didn't have no million dollar home or something like that, some sudden such, such million dollar home. Soulja Boy been scrutinized for his behavior lately. I know he going on this first rapper tour where he the first rapper to do this, that, and the third, but like I said, he the first rapper to be from Zone 1 Atlanta and Compton at the same time. That's so many miles away. That's so many miles away. Let's look up how far that is. Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to look how far it is. Atlanta, Georgia to Compton, California. We're going to just see roughly how far away from home his, his, Jesus Christ. It says 32 hours to get from Atlanta to Compton. So, Soldier Boy, you're not from there, you know, you might live there now, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got, like, I got, my granddad lives in Seattle, he not from there, you know what I'm saying? He lived there now, he don't live there for some years, he's still not from there, like, he lived there for 40 something years, still not from there. So, you saying you from Atlanta, motherfucker, you saying you from Compton is kind of weird since you were just arguing against Charlemagne trying to make this this whole point proven that you were from Atlanta. You swore up and down from Atlanta. It's not looking right, soldier boy. It's not looking right. I'm just going to stay keeping a stack bundle with you. It's not looking right. You make them crank that songs and all that stuff. You're not supposed to be banging, bro. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But. I'm telling you now. Since you're not on the block doing nothing, Soldier Boy, you're probably getting extorted. That's the truth. Like, if you're not personally, like, a part of the gang or making any of the bylaws and things like that, then what do they need you for? Because you're not going to be security. You're not big or buff and don't got no henchmen or nothing like that. They're not gonna need you. So that's how I feel about the situation, man. I feel like Soulja Boy out here just straight capping. They might have said, you know, you can be an affiliate, but he took that to heart. Something like that. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation, man. Is Soulja Boy, is he is he is he right about the situation? Can you move somewhere else and just claim a whole nother Gang and all that. I don't. I don't. I personally don't know because I don't claim a gang in my own city, so I wouldn't go somewhere else and try to claim what they got going on. That's kind of weird. But y'all, let me know how y'all feel about the situation, man. Y'all also drop a that like on this video, man. If y'all like what what's going on, y'all subscribe to my channel. We got more content on the way, man. It's TP in the place to be, man. We out. Y'all take care.